Hello Kimi Lovers, I am the Dr. Vere and this is Kimi Kiyome con la Dra. Vere, the channel where we explore the science behind the air we breathe, the food we eat and the life we live every day. Did you know that the air we inhale can contain invisible gases and microscopic particles that directly impact our health? Well, in this video we're going to analyze air pollution from a chemical perspective to understand how it affects our bodies and our planet. So, you know, put on the safety goggles and join me on this fascinating scientific journey. When we talk about air pollution, we mean the presence of chemical compounds and particles that shouldn't be there or are in harmful concentration. These populants can be toxic gases, such as nitrogen dioxide and ground-level ozone, or tiny solids and liquid suspend particles known as particle matter. Most come from human activity, factories burning fossil fuels, vehicles emitting exhaustive gases, wildfires, and even household products. All of this disrupts the natural balance of the atmosphere and directly affects the quality of the air we breathe. Some of the most important gases populants in the air have primarily anthropogenic origins, meaning they come from human activities. 1. Carbon monoxide, a colorless, odorless gas formed by incomplete combustion of fossil fuels especially in car engines. When inhaled, it competes with oxygen in the blood by binding to hemoglobin, forming carboxyhemoglobin, which can cause dizziness, fatigue, and even fatal poisoning and high exposure levels. 2. Nitrogen dioxide, a reddish irritant gas mainly released from vehicle exhaust and thermal power plants. When breathed in, it damages lung lightnings and worsens diseases like asthma and bronchitis. It also plays a role in forming ground level ozone. 3. Sulfur dioxide, produced by burning coal and oil in industrial processes. This gas reacts with water vapor in the atmosphere to form sulfur acid, a key component of acid rain. It also irritates eyes, throat, and lungs. 4. Throphospheric ozone. While ozone in the stratosphere protects us from UV rays, at ground level it forms through photochemical reaction between nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds in sunlight. Its presence causes respiratory tract inflammation and reduces lung function. 5. Carbon dioxide. Although not toxic at low concentration, its accumulation is directly linked to the greenhouse effect and global warming. It is emitted in large amounts by foil combustion and deforestation. Suspending particles known as PM10 and PM2.5 are tiny solid fragments or liquid droplets floating in the air. PM10 particles have diameters less than 10 micrometers and can reach the upper respiratory tract. The most dangerous PM2.5 is smaller than 2.5 micrometers, can penetrate lung alveoli and enter the blue stream. These particles often contain heavy metals, organic compounds, and toxic substances that cause chronic inflammation, increase the risk of heart attacks, impair lung function, and are even associated with neurodegenerative diseases. Air pollution does more than irritate the respiratory tract. It triggers a cascade of systemic effects Ultrafine particles and populant gases induce chronic inflammation, oxidative stress, and tissue damage in multiple organs. 
In the lungs, they worsen or cause diseases like COPD, chronic bronchitis, and cancer. Cardiovascular risk increases with hypertension, heart attacks, and strokes. The brain is also affected. Recent studies link long-term exposure to cognitive decline, anxiety, depression, and higher risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer. In children, neurological and lung development is compromised and vulnerable groups, such as the elderly and those with chronic illness, face significantly higher hospitalization and mortality rates. Air pollution is the greatest environment health risk worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, over 99% of the global population lives in areas where air quality exceeds recommended limits for PM2.5 and nitrogen dioxide. Cities like Delhi, Lahore, and Ultambator experience fine particle concentration up to 10 times above safe levels. In Latin America, cities such as Mexico City, Lima, and Santiago face high levels of ozone and particles, especially during dry seasons. Even rural areas are not exempt as popular transport by wine and climate change intensify dispersion. This environmental crisis affects both developed and developing countries alike, fueling a cycle of inequality and public health deterioration. Also, the problem seems huge, or daily choices have a direct impact, replacing car trips with biking or walking can significantly reduce nitrogen oxides and particle emissions. Installing solar panels at home or choosing energy efficient appliances lowers demand the fossil fuel energy. Urban reforestation and green walls will capture populants and regulate local temperature. And perhaps most importantly, Getting involved in decision-making by supporting public policies for sustainable mobility and air quality. Because when we can act together, we can transform polluted environments into healthy spaces for everyone. Were you surprised by everything behind the air we breathe? Every fact you learned today can be the start of change. Share this video with all your friends and type in the comments what topic you'd like us to explore together. Subscribe to Kimikendo con la Doctora Vere to keep discovering the science all around us. Follow us on social media and join this community that brings knowledge. Bye bye, Kimi lovers!